In this video, we will talk about the forgotten case the Chiefs target, Emmanuel Gabriel Mikel, and what is actually going on with him. We are going to talk about Edston Castillo's deal. We are also going to look at this ongoing Ranga Chibabiro twist and turns in his stories because it just doesn't end. And now it's reaching new levels that might just be a bit dangerous for KZ Chiefs. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs, Amakusi Football Club. So let's start with Emmanuel Gabriel Mikel, if I'm saying his name right. So if you guys remember, last transfer window, Chiefs were linked with this player, Uguti was going to come to KZ Chiefs. But for those of you who don't even know who this guy is, so this guy is basically a player, a right winger who's currently playing for St. George in Ethiopia. And actually, funny story, is that Chiefs did not want to sign him. They initially wanted to sign Uapupaka Nazir from the same team. But then Isan Downs went ahead and they bought Uapupaka Nazir before he chiefs. So then he chiefs were like, okay, we've missed out on Apupaka Nazir who ended up destroying he chiefs in that 4 0 win. And then they were like, okay, we're now going to go and try to find someone else. A plan B, if you will. So they went after this guy who is called Emmanuel Capri Mikel. So it ended up not materializing it, Diliake, and he stayed at St. George's. So now he chiefs this season. There is no follow-up on that transfer target. Huguti, are we going to get him still? There's been nothing. But what has come up is that Iswalos are now leading the race to sign him. Which, in a way, I don't want to complain about this because I can understand why they might not want to sign him because the argument will be on the left, we have Vutoli, we have Modi, and then maybe you can also include him too on the left as well because Guita and Konum Tutuzi Shabalala Basic Bakona Umshini, you can play much in that position. And then on the right, maybe they are going to play Utupri, the Isusahota is a as a backup, they are keeping Abu Matlati, you know. So there could be that argument, you could say they feel like the team has enough depth. But that's weird because the players that I just mentioned, or Matlati, they were not being played enough. Uh also Hota towards the end of the season, they were not being played enough. So to me it makes me think Uguti. Why would they think they have enough players if they were not using those players? To me, it feels like they didn't trust those players. So then why would you start a season with the players that you don't trust if you already had a player that you were scouting? But as I said, I don't want to say question that much because I can see maybe potentially where leaving this deal comes from because it's potentially good now. We have enough depth and this might be a risky signing because you bring him in and then he fails to adapt and you've spent money. And also, as I said yesterday, you've, you are spending or utilizing that foreign spot that we still need for other players. For example, we still haven't signed a, a defensive midfielder. We also still don't have a striker. Like, And we can use that remaining foreign spot for that striker who's a foreigner. So I see where this whole thing might be coming from. So, before I move on and talk about... <laughs> what's next? I don't even know. I know. Uh, before we move on and talk about <laughs> Ucastillo, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That makes me feel better about myself, honestly. So, yeah. If you care about my self-esteem, please like the video <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. That's a weird thing to say. Anyways, according to Transfer Market, they've reported to Guti Wetson Castillo... The new central midfielder signed by Kaiser Chiefs from Venezuela. I was trying to make an accent, a South American accent. I failed. Anyways, apparently he has signed with the Chiefs. He signed a two-year contract with a one-year extension. I always feel like this this <laughs> this thing is vague, but maybe he's more uninformed. So I will go and check because Lendo Yogu Tumuntu ne option to extend. They, it's never clarified Ugutu actually has an option to extend. Is it a player or is it the club? But in most cases, you find Uguti, it's a club who have an option to extend that contract by further year, which means they are kind of saying, yeah, we're going to give you the first season to adapt, second season to play really well. And if you play well in the second season, then we extend your contract and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're not making a crazy signing at seven years in Jenga Chels. But it's okay. Two-year contract with an option to extend. 
it's a good contract and he was playing with the Poco Juniors unfortunately in his last game for his team they got destroyed by 4-0 but if you know Poco Juniors then you know Guti that's a good team and f- losing 4-0 to them is acceptable not like losing 4-0 to Sundowns just on a random day anyways let's move on and talk about Ranga Chibabiro I like the fact that now I'm calling him Ranga Chibabiro from Chivaviro yeah so Uchibabi Rock, what's happening with him right now is that Chibariro. Yeah. <laughs> what's happening with him is that each year since they are holding us ransom and they are not they are not wanting to confirm the signings that they've made. Marumo Kalans released a statement yesterday on Friday, which was detailing all the players that are leaving. Guti, oh, Otladisa to Pirates. Pirates have already confirmed that before that statement. And then you see they were writing Otladisa and then put in brackets with Orlando Pirates. Then they wrote Ranga Chibabiro, then they wrote in brackets Kaiser Chiefs. And I was like, ah, yeah, now we know. We knew Vele, but we we wanted confirmation from the club, because the Chiefs themselves. But they didn't, but then Galans did fa- a favor to ask Kaiser Chiefs fans. You might think that, right? Because a few hours after that, I don't know, maybe 10 hours after that, because it was in the morning, early hours of the day yesterday. Later on, there we have Ucho Mobiela, the CEO, chairman, where Richard's PFC. We are Hamba, we are Kulman of Victim Leaf. M. Nomzan Biela, Skalus Chele, Varhena, and Gendabaga Ranga Chibabir. Eh, Umdalu, to Luangas, Guti Chiefs, Kulmangan. Eh, what I am a Romokala and Sakiri, Baba confirming Gutum Dalu Chiefs law. So Babu Ganjit, I will just wait and see. Literally, that's me paraphrasing what he said. But in a way, Epifia can now he's taking it to the next level. He's not taking it with the Marumo Kalans who have sold the player to Chiefs. But this is how he's taking the piff. Victim Leaf. Victim Leaf, um, um, now I'm adding spice to, to, to this whole thing. He's saying we have signed, oh no, so could be a local man. No, we've signed the player, he's our player. We signed him with a two contract with an option to extend. So, what we're we going to do, Mr. Victim Leaf, eh? we are not going to say anything to anyone. We saw the statement, but we know our story. He literally said that. That's not a paraphrasing. We know our story, we have the documents. So, Oh, continue. So if Chiefs announce the player, then we'll pounce. That's me paraphrasing again. He's saying they know their story, they have the papers, and they're just going to wait until the Chiefs announces Zorhanga. And then they'll pounce. They will say, Yay, Yumdalu how dare you announce him as yours? Ningagam thing. So now to me this feels like ow. If is it not supposed to be with the agent and the player himself or with Imarumo Kalans? Because if Imarumo Kalans says no, this is still our player, and I'm sure they prove the two chiefs. I don't think the chiefs would want to get themselves in trouble and negotiate with a with Marumo Kalans to buy a player if if the, it wasn't clear Uguti is still a Marumo Kalans player. But the way Uchomobiel, Uchomobiel, Umnomzan, Uchomobiel is saying this whole thing, it's sounding more and more like, no, we know what we're talking about. And if it chiefs dares, if they even dare, we will show them flames. So now I'm waiting because I, I have fear Uguti Ngampela Ngampela. The way this man is so confident about this whole thing, it seems like he knows Uguti, they signed the player. But once again, We've said this thing before, but I'm going to say it again because some people are watching this for the first time. Marumo Kalans had an option to extend the contract Karanga. So, that thing was apparently exercised. In Marumo Kalans, they extended by an extra year. So, each FC signed Uranga from I Marumo Kalans because he was still their player because they extended the player's contract by year, which is a similar situation that happened with Um Tutuzum Tanzan. Chiefs tried to sign him on a pre-contract in January and then Cape Town City exercised their option to extend and then the Chiefs had to pay 3.5 million for Um Tutuzum Tanzan. That's a reported fee. Same thing with Uranga. The Chiefs now went to sign Um Tanzan. Uranga, I, I, Marumo Kalans had already extended his year by his contract by an extra year, which means he was still their player. 
indaba ye pre ye pre contract agreement ukuthi the papers are there you would think if there were details specific from the one year extension with Marumo Kalans, then he would be a Marumo Kalans player because you cannot sign a pre contract with a player who still has more than a year in his contract. You can only do that if there's six months remaining. Because to me, I'm thinking about it because it wouldn't have made any sense for Marumo Kalans to let Uranga run down his contract to the last six months. I mean, like. Because this is the club's option to extend, right? So if the club has sees good Oranga is performing and we have an option to extend this contract by year, what do you do logically? You extend the contract. So they did that, but then Irchas Bay are saying this is this this is our player. So we're going to see. What do you think should happen? Do you think each should just pull out? Because we saw the same thing last year with the Royal AM saying Solomons is their player, but the Chiefs had already signed the player. So with Sizobona, what do you think about this whole situation? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.